my name is Tyler Butler. I work for Ruballo, South Florida Yachts here in West Palm Beach. We're about to show you the brand new model, the 266 Cayman. Just recently came out. We're gonna take a walk through it. We're gonna start with the back of the boat here on the 266 Cayman. We have two live wells on each side. Both 30 gallons, both have dividers. You can keep two separate uh, style of baits on each side. One on one side, one on the other. You have a middle seat here section, a lot wider than the 246. You can fit quite a few people on there, at least three instead of two. Nice, comfortable spot. And then uh, right here on this section here, they have a half seat that's able to actually fold down so you can actually converse. That's a new style of seat. You're able to actually sit here at a sandbar and have a great time talking with your friends. We're going to come back here and show you one of the biggest features that I like the most about this new model. They make it super, super easy to get back to the back, to be able to work on all your pumps. Everything's super simple. Your batteries are located up out of the actual splash wheel down there. Uh, very easy to get to, quick, simple. We're gonna move to the back here. Each spot on both sides. They have dedicated bucket storage. We know everyone always takes a bucket out on the boat. We just put a spot for them for your trash, easy for your cast net. Pretty simple, easy to use. And the splash well back here, you have located in this left section over here, your fresh water wash down. Over here in the other side, you have your raw water wash down. Located in the splash well so everything goes in and out of the boat. It's not getting all over the place. Moving back, moving forward, we have two swim platforms. One on each side, one has the ladder attached to it. It makes it super simple and easy to get in and out of the boat. When you're at the sandbar, when you're in shallow water. And then moving to the power. This boat was actually made around the 425 XTO. You see how well balanced the boat is while it's in the water. It's just very nice suit the engine for the model. With a six inch Atlas hydraulic jack plate, it drafts a true 18 inches for a 26 boat. boat that's pretty, it's pretty phenomenal. Now moving to the bow section of this boat. We do have an anchor locker here right up in the very front. Um, it is already pre-wired for a trolling motor. So located in this section right here in the middle, you will actually have a spot that goes into the floor um, where you can actually store your batteries. It's already pre-wired. Makes it super simple to put a trolling motor on. Um, coming back from that, you have a third live well on this boat. This is a 20 gallon, so you have two 30s in the back, a 20 up front. You're fishing up on a flat, you can move you know, a handful of baits up to the front, makes it nice and easy to get to. The first thing you're gonna see with our Cayman series is our recessed deck. Makes it super simple, super easy to get into. You actually have a nice lip that keeps you nice and comfortable when you're traveling at a high rate of speed. You're not sitting on top, so you're gonna roll off and someone makes a hard turn. Very comfortable. The next thing you'll notice is as you go to open up these compartments, you can actually open up a compartment, the cushion is going to stay on. You don't have to take the cushion off in order to actually open up the compartment. It makes it very easy to use. That is your, <clears throat> that's your fish box there. On this side, you will have rod locker storage that you can actually walk away, excuse me, for the few things that are already in there. These are actual forward-facing backrest seats. Makes it super comfortable. Uh, very easy to use. You can actually pull a little pin and they actually pop right out. You can put them inside of the, the helm or leave them at home in the dock box if you're going fishing for the day. There's also another piece that will go here. It's not located on this vessel, but you can actually make the rest of the sun deck, make it nice and flat, makes a casting platform. There is a cushion that goes on it too, makes a nice uh, sunshade, a nice sun pad <clears throat> when you're at the sandbars. And then you can actually have a table insert as well. So when you're sitting at the sandbar, you have a nice beautiful lunch. Nice big storage compartment down in the floor. Nice little feature there. Now we're gonna move on to the helm. Now we're moving on to the helm section here. Um, as you'll notice, the first thing with Rabalos is that they open up from the front. And I'm gonna tell you why. Makes it nice and easy. Nice and easy compartment to get into. Remember folks, this is a Baybo. Um, it is a hybrid and we still have a full head. I unfortunately am 260 pounds, 6'2". 
and I sit in this super, super easy, nice and comfortable, and without with the breeze. Most other boats, you have to actually do access from the side. Um, and what that is going to do, there is no side of the boat. It makes it a lot harder to get into. I'm not a, I'm not a small human being. It'll actually raise the console a lot higher. So what that ends up doing is when you're sitting at the helm of the boat, <clears throat> you won't be able to see the very tip of the bow because now on our boats, I can sit here and I can actually see the tip of the boat. Easy, not having to stand up on my tippy toes. With the console being as low as it is with the entrance from the front, when you sit at the helm, I can actually sit nice and flat with the bolsters facing down. I can look over the bow and I can actually see the tip of the bow while driving. It's nice and flat. It does come with two bolster seats, so you can't flip them up. You can actually get a nice little lean post on there with dual steps for any size, tall or small. You can fit two 12 inch screens on here. You can have radar. You can um, dual transducers, uh, whatever you prefer. It does come standard with trim tabs with a full JL audio sound system. They have the speakers up in the actual key top so you can actually have a good sound percussion coming off of them. Big key top box, nice and easy, it's lockable. And what you also notice on this particular new model is that you will have a full enclosed um, glass window. Um, which makes it nice and easy to get out of the elements. You'll also find that on top here, you do have a vent that is electronic. You can push a button right on the helm here, and it will go in and out as you please to give a little ventilation in the hot summer months. So some other really nice features we here at the, have at the helm, is you have a nice little glove compartment. This particular gentleman has his power poke remote in it. You can put your phone in there, you put your keys in there, put your wallet. Those have a nice little locking feature as well. Um, this is your head deck to your stereo. It is Bluetooth compatible, AM, XM, radio, Sirius. Um, you will have auxiliary ports as well. Um, they will have a Bluetooth charging system here that you can use for your phone or any other amenities. And then they came out with this brand new phone charging port that you can actually attach your phone to and uh, it charges right through any case. I've had my phone here the entire time. And it'll sit here and go on charge as soon as I plug it in while you're cruising around boating. Uh, they do come with a adjusted steering wheel that you can actually move in and out of the way to your liking. Uh, trim tab controls right here on the side. They are Lenco trim tabs. They do have a light up system, so they will show you where they're at. And as soon as you disengage them, they will go back to true, so they're not ever going to be hanging down on you. All right, guys, that sums up our walkthrough on the very newest model of the 266 Rubalo Cayman, um, the newest series to our fleet. That is our flagship. We hope to see you soon. Come see us at South. For the yachts at any time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below to Power Boating YouTube channel for more amazing content.